However, given the limited length of the show's last season, many of the plot points that viewers had been expecting and thinking about had to be scrapped. One feels cheated when they have spent years guessing at the Night King's motivations or Cersei's, Lena Headey prophesy, only to find out that the program abandoned such plots. Here are seven fan hypotheses that were better than the actual conclusion of Game of Thrones, in recognition of the brilliant brains in the fan community. One Bran was always the Night King. There's no denying that this was a fan favorite going into season 8, yet with the one stroke of a knife, Game of Thrones killed all chance of it coming true. Fans speculated that when Bran warged into Hodder, Christian Nairn in the past, he would seek to prevent the war with the dead by warging into the Night King before he was formed by the Children of the Forest. Nevertheless, the original three-eyed raven, Max von Sudo warned him that he may get stuck in the past if he wasn't cautious, and it is speculated that this is how Bran became the Night King. From then, speculations about Bran's intentions as the Night King differ. Was it the thousands of years of seeing human violence that finally convinced him that humanity had to be eradicated? Was anything more at play, maybe on a grander scale? Cersei would be murdered by Tyrion or Jaime. A small brother, or, Valonka, in High Valyrian, is shown as the one who strangles Cersei in the written version of the prophecy she received about her destiny. Due to Cersei's long-standing animosity for Tyrion, fans generally believed this aspect of the prophecy even though it was never included in the show, Peter Dinklage. When Arya put on Jaime's face, she would murder Cersei. Ever since Arya began compiling a list of the people she intended to murder, Cersei has been right behind Joffrey, Jack Gleason. From the beginning, the expectation was that Arya would be the one to put an end to Cersei's life. But, because that objective ran counter to the Valonka idea, supporters were inspired to devise an epic justification that might hold for either one. More dragons for Daenerys. Viewers were quick to notice that there were really four dragons shown on the astrolabe in the new season 8 title sequence, prompting speculation that Daenerys might either get a new dragon this season or hatch three new dragon eggs to replace the two that she lost last season. Despite the fact that the tale of Daenerys finally turned into a Mad Queen story, we would have liked to see her remain in character and have more children to assist her rule in King's Landing and replenish the dragon population. If Daenerys conceived Jon's child, she would be carrying it. This one is so embarrassing that we're almost happy it didn't happen, yet it still makes more sense than what did. Fans were eager to point out how often Daenerys' infertility was discussed on the show after Jon and Dany slept together in the season. 7 Finale it seemed nearly inevitable that she would come out to be pregnant with Jon's kid this season, given how much emphasis had been placed on her potential succession. The Night King's ancestry is Targaryen. There is a lot of circumstantial evidence suggesting the Night King was a hidden Targaryen, but it is not yet known whether or not this is in fact the case. The fact that the Night King rode Viserion into combat lends credence to this notion, particularly considering that Jon and Daenerys are the only non-Targaryens to ever ride a dragon. At the Battle of Winterfell, when Daenerys tried to roast him, he miraculously avoided any burns. A last piece of evidence suggesting the Night King may be of Targaryen descent is the striking resemblance between his emblem, the Infinite Spiral and the Targaryen Dragon Crest. I know, right?